Thank you. I'm going to read your shirt. Is that okay? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. I am really enjoying this conversation. Oh, that's nice. It's not a lie. Christine Morato, HLM Belgium. What is like the one thing that surprised you the most when you started out in Hollywood? Because you were a child actor. So I want to know what that was like. Um, I'm gl I don't know. I'm glad I did it when I was young. Mm -hmm. You know, because I didn't know. I think your brain doesn't fully form until you're 25. Okay. So well, I, I was 16 and I didn't know any better. And it just felt like. I didn't realize what a uh, uh, you know how much of an opportunity for failure there was. Mm -hmm. I think if I had started later on, I might not have t taken the risk. According to your bio, you dropped out of school to make it in Hollywood. Mm. Uh, so looking back at that, do you think you made the right decision? Was it luck? Was it hard, hard work? What was it that made you succeed? It's both. It's luck and it's hard work. Mm -hmm. it, it's so much luck involved. Yeah. So many. I know so many talented people who haven't had their uh, they're you know haven't had the same opportunities and it's uh it's so frustrating to watch because there's no reason for it. it's not fair mm -hmm. you know it's just really but you you have to uh work hard in order to 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 make yourself available to those opportunities to mm -hmm. have to be lucky sebastian's dream is to open up a jazz club mm -hmm. and i love that idea but it's also very hard work and it's not easy to just open up a club and um, I guess that you have a restaurant business yourself in LA. Can you talk a little bit about that, how that is, how easy or how difficult it is? Um, I'm, I, you know, it's hard work. I mean, it, it, it no, no way around it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it's, it was a great experience and, uh, and uh, I loved, uh, I loved. Uh, do you still I, have the place or? I do, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how actors do it. They always have like things on the side. I don't know where they find the time. Well, um, it's nice you know, to have a backup plan. A backup plan. When you're an actor, <laughs> you never know how it's going to go. Still saving up. You know you're going to be a really big star during award season. We all know that. How exciting is that for you? How nerve-wracking is that? Do you dread it to be on the red carpet? Uh, I'm, you know, Emma and I and Damien worked hard on the film, but there were so many people that put so much... Mm -hmm. love and sweat into this film all the dancers choreographers set painters i mean there really was a uh such an incredible uh effort on everyone's part so i'm i'm so thrilled that that work is being acknowledged and that the people that did all that work will get a sense of uh, accomplishment out of of how audiences in, mm -hmm. are receiving the film well i'm really enjoying this conversation I'm enjoying this conversation too. <laughs> but you didn't see. I know the shoes. I don't have a T-shirt to prove it. But, but did you see the shoes? Wow. Well, I, I have to put them up, but. I don't think I've ever been more jealous of a pair of shoes. Well, you can have them, but I, I don't <laughs> think it's your size. <laughs> nice. Well, thank you so much. They just give me the wrap. Cool. Good